Hey everyone, this is Steve here at the DJ Lab. Take a look at something a little different outside of DJ equipment. This is a TV. Obviously, it's the Samsung 65 inch The Frame 2022. Just picked this up for a great deal. One of the big deals about this thing is it's uh, anti reflective matte coating. And I'm going to show you something here. This is my Samsung Q90A. So this was last year's Q90. Well, yeah, it was a 2021 model. And you're looking at both of these things running the uh, ambient thing. So check it out. I'm gonna turn on a flashlight here. And I'm gonna point to this TV right here. So one of the things that I really hated about this TV is the fact that it has a special anti-reflective coating. And what it does is uh, it takes it and diffuses the light so it's not as bright because if you look at it, that's a pretty bright light, right? But then it does that. And that was really distracting, man. I'm telling you, like, that's just, even from a distance. You see, you see what I'm looking at here? So with all my nano leaf lights, this thing is kind of horrible, you know what I mean? So over here on this side, got the music going. And I just got, I've got the same light on. They go to a dark screen. See, there's the light. That's me. Like, I'm that close to it, man. And that's as bad as it gets. So as I back up, you see from here, it disappears. Same distance away from this TV here. And look at that glare. We're over here at this TV. And you got like nothing. You got like, you know, nothing. A little tiny, barely. You barely see that spot, right? Let me switch this flashlight over and make this thing super bright. See, super bright. Look what this thing does here. Look at that. And I got other lights on as well too, you know what I mean? And then we get over here, and it's like, you're seeing, it's really diffused, man. You barely even notice it. And that's like a direct, direct light, you know what I mean? So, this is definitely a win, but something I want to point out. Let me grab the remotes here. And got to hold it to turn it off because it's in art mode. Now, look at this. I got to get the light. This is something I got to check out and figure out. Do you see the coating? Do you see the, the swirl marks? Do you see all of that stuff, right? Like... trying to clean this matte screen there's something up with it you can't use a microfiber cloth and you just just barely man get it wet you know what i mean like i've followed everything samsung says and you have all these streaking marks that almost looks like a scratch you know what i mean and i don't know if it is or it isn't it probably very well could be because i bought this thing as a refurb, that's why I got such a good deal on it. Now, the guy I bought it from promises me he's gonna take care of me, right? I bought TVs from him before, everything was fine. So, he said, just hold out till Monday and he'll take care of it. So, he'll probably replace it with some with a, another Samsung The Frame. But, when the TV's on, you don't see none of that. So, it's kind of interesting when the TV's back on, everything is cool anyways just thought i'd show the comparison that uh you know q90a is super high end man like it looks really good but the reflection stuff is horrible this this coding on it really sucks like you can see the reflection of my daniel leaf lights in my hallway back there right it's just sucks anti-reflective is great i love it talk to you guys all soon don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got some DJ videos coming up real soon.